and you see we just reached the west side of Luxor. Uh -huh. And they used to call the west side of Luxor the city of the dead. That's why it's been called the city of the dead. Oh, that's why we're going to the tombs, right? Exactly. We all, they used to call city of the dead because the tombs is here. Why they used to bury the kings here? Right. Yeah, from Britain, of course, you know. The yeah. Story, yeah. Yeah, the Carter. The Carter, the Carter House. The Carter. The we are in the... Uh, uh, was Luxor, the and we're on the way to the Valley of the Kings. So we're going to Temple of Hatshepsut. <laughs> this gate? This is even older than the temple. This is 2200 BC. Wow. September 1500 BC. So it's 4200. Yes. So, of course, that belonged to a man from the Middle Kingdom. As I told you, the year 2200 BC. Right, we're in the temple of Hatshepsut. And this is a sphinx representing her being a man. Things representing hardship suit being as a man. It rains a lot, so that's why the gate or the door to their homes higher than the level of the ground. So they use like they have these houses. Uh -huh. Once they go inside, they can put the ladder up, so it doesn't let the insect go inside their home or the wild animals as well. And these are the kind of coconut trees, mary trees that grow in the area of Bond. Even you can see the sea turtle to prove it to the people that that's the Red Sea, not the Nile. And here. The ruler of Bond, you see the skinny man, uh -huh. very thin man, and behind his wife. That is the ruler of Bond, and that's his wife, and these are all his workers loading the donkeys to give it all as an offer for the messengers being sent by Hachim Okay? And here the same man, the ruler of Bond, making his hand this way, which he showed his respect to the messengers being sent by Hachim These are all kinds of fish, fish yeah. that lives on the Red Sea. And this is, is the ships that sail on the Red Sea to come all the way from Bon Somalia to reach the area here. A figure for hair in the form of a man and it's all being chiseled out, destroyed. And she used to live in Karnak Temple. She transferred part of Karnak Temple to be like a zoo. So we leave the first zoo all over the world were done here in Egypt. The trees here. The, the, the two balance? What? The trees? No, the tombs. The top yes, is a little no. called TH. Yeah, this is no, called TH. Oh. So it's one of the offer who has TH on that line. And Another figure of Hatshepsut in the form of the land wearing up on lower Egypt crown and it's all being cheated out, destroyed. By her son and daughter, was the third, you know, as a way of revenge. Because imagine, instead of living in a palace, you live in the military for 20 years. And you are 14 years old, so she sent them to get killed actually in the military, but she survived. And being in the military for 20 years... So that's the uh, hardship suit, yeah. right? So it destroyed. Destroyed by the sudden law.
is the horse, the god horse, the falcon. guys Ship suit. It used to be the uh, the Christian. The complex of the sun cult in the temple of Hatshepsut at Deir el Bahari. Alright guys, here's the head of Hatshepsut with the beer attached to it. All these monuments, figures, every one of them is a Hatshepsut. Alright, so one, it's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whatever left. So this one is gone, this one is gone, this one is gone, just a mop, just a stand left. Okay, we're going on the first no, on the second level by the Sphinx. Not Sphinx, I guess uh, they are with the shape of the Falcons. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Fine, thank you. So, first, <laughs> I will give you small information about three, four different materials. For example, like alabaster stone, a gray parcel, rose granite, and lime stone. About alabaster first, alabaster stone, it's a three different color. First color. Why? Second color. Brown. Third color. Green. Yes, three different color from alabaster, white, brown, and green. Second, what I have here, original parcel stone, dark gray, and rose granite stone, very hard material. And about alabaster and limestone, we bring that material behind part of the caves. 25, 30 kilometers from here, by donkeys, by camels, because there are roads in the desert. Look like the oak here, biggest, smallest one, different rock and different color too. First step, our gentleman man here, we do the shape, same ancient Egyptian way by hammering, for example, we make a vase, ball, 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 ash tree, ash tree, statue, statue, obelisk, any, what, sang, you, I love you, I love you too. <laughs> now the first one, how we do the shape, like a vase from alabaster, roughly more than five and a half, six kilograms, little bit heavy. We will start that four, for example, like a bar. Second, what I have here, we cover by any music glue. Okay, with hot powder, with powder from alabaster, and we need the sun. Two and a half days, three days to be stronger. Why? When you put in the ground here and put the whole side, the balance doesn't crack. We will keep working. No, sorry, <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Here's the guys Alibasta Museum. Hey, forget about it. You don't need to go to <laughs> the Egyptian museum, it's all here. And the real McCoy. <laughs> they make you know they're making this stuff right they right here. Not the fake one from China, the one sells on the street. Uh, here's the heaven for buyers. It's all made really here and it's not the fake ones. If you see here, it's like Azurit and here's the Malachite, the real one. Basalts. <laughs> Alibaba. Alibaba. <laughs> And I'm gonna show you, all right, my paisans. I wanna show you the minka. Here we go, guys. This is a minka. You see this? Min, the god, the Egyptian god of uh, fertility. Here you go. And that's a uh, minka. Say hello to minka. Minka. And I saw somewhere here the main cat too. Uh, oh yeah, right there. Here's another main cat. Here you go. Don't make me mad and saying I'm a pervert. I'm not. It's ancient Egyptian god mean. Okay. So I, I don't exaggerate. I don't make it up. That's the that's the deal. The head of Nef Nefertiti. Here's the falcon, which is Horus. Baboon, the Egyptian cat. And this one is all made from volcanic rock called basalt. Guys, you like a museum. Oh my god. It's hard to choose anything. You get fresh refreshments. This is a key of life. The famous, and here's the made from Basal, the Pharaoh sarcophag. So make sure if you come to Egypt, you come empty because if you really want to buy a bunch of stuff it's not expensive by the way so you can really get a bargain deal good deal for something something you're never going to be able to get in the us but look at the cobra
lady, and that's the only temple being built from south to north. Because that dedicated to the God of fertility. Why be built from south to north? Because of the Nile, when it flood, it floods from south to north. And when the Nile flood, fertilize the whole land. So that's why they gave this God, this temple to the God of fertility, and they gave it the same name or other feature of God Amun Ra, which is God Amun Kam of F. And from here to Karnak Temple is connected by the Sphinx Avenue. Let's see the Sphinx. Yep. The Sphinx. yep. I and see. soon we're gonna see the rest of them connected the two temples together. So in the ancient Egyptian time. with the, the tourists. Well, it's the overture. So, so we, we saw... It has the large amount of everything. In Philae Temple, we saw two, two towers, two yep. islands on. But here you can see, we yeah. have ten. We yeah. have six from west to east, wow. and four from south to north, as you see. So, because that's temple dedicated to the king of the gods. Here, exactly, in front of us, we have what we call the hall of the pillar. Maybe when we go inside, recognize this place because one of James Bond movies were filmed in there. It has 134 pillars on it and it used to be covered by a roof and here we have 130 pillars as well as I told you and here we used to have the nine obelisks. See the obelisks? Yeah there's two, four, six. Two, four, six uh, and three nine. We're gonna find three only there. Two standing and one is broken so they kept it near the second lake. The two standing, one of them is very high, almost 29 meters, belong to Hatshepsut. Karnak Temple in Laksor. The Alley of Sphinx. We're going to work through it. To reach so far until here. And the, the people who want to visit the temple, they come with the boats. To dock it here. Get off the boat. Yeah. It has the names of the kings who ruled from the same dynasty. And we used to have two, one here and one over there. But they're made of sandstone, so the one to the left was for all things. And you can find any piece of it. Because the human figure between the two legs for the ram takes for Ramses himself. So that's Ramses who made the land Abbey. So we have torn it down. Not like your picture taken with guys Karnak temple must see it must 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 I'm sorry this is a rams not the lions it's fertility because they <laughs> they fer fertile pretty good having like ram babies all the time how did we know it's left unfinished look at the left tower uh -huh. shorter than the right one yeah yeah these guys for the flag to the windows up there, which it used to be having a worker to change the color of the window. So every different ceremony, we have a different color. And that is higher than this one. Also, that's not been decorated. It's a blank. So that's why we tell that that's not finished yet. Why it's not finished? That's what we can figure out inside. But that's well, I know the answer. Why? Ready? What? The answer. They don't want to pay taxes. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Persians invade Egypt, so the Persians didn't care to finish up the pile. But it was good luck for us as Egyptologists to figure out the way that how the ancient Egyptians used to build high walls. It was over 55 degrees sometimes. Tut Tutankhamun yes. statue. The which only is statue in, in Karnak Temple belonged to King Tutankhamun. Wow. It's made of the best quality of limestone. Look how shiny it is. The Tutankhamun statue, the Sphinx. By the animal, they kill the animals, and because it's to wash the blood. 
Yeah, right here. So that's why they washed the blood from him. So they killed the animals here? Yes. And this that's a sacred place, okay? Yes. And as I told Miriam, if you touch it, it's quite cold. It's not standing in the sun for a long time. Then bring the life, the other thing bring death. That's how we die, uh -huh. fight. That's how he would like to come back to life as a warrior. So this is the second statue, right, yes. of Ramses? Both of them. Ramses is the second. Both of them are made of granite, one piece of granite, as you see. Wow. Okay, here's the Rams, the, the third statue. And probably the second one is also Rams, the third. Is that ghost? The second ghost? one made of granite. Rams, the second made the statue made of granite. That's made of sandstone. Sandstone, okay. Here's the flood line. Hi, ready? It has 174 pillars. So why did the ancient Egyptian build these amount of pillars? Imagine all the big homes now would like to have a garden in front. So the ancient Egyptian figured out if he grow the trees in here, that will not gonna last forever. And he wanted his timbers to last forever. So they made his pillars to be the same as the trees. That's why if you look up there, it's like a flower. Open flower and it's all colored. You see the color? Yep. These colors are 3,500 years old. And look at the base. You see? You uh -huh. see this? It's like a flower just open. Uh -huh. Yeah, the flower open at the bottom. See the, 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 the leaves of the flower? You see it? Like a triangle mm -hmm. to the top, yeah? And it goes all the bottom. All of these is like a flower just open. And uh -huh. the pillar. So it's just open and the pillars comes out from it and it end up with the big flower up there, papyrus. So the oldest one, the one that we are standing in the middle between them, that is the oldest pillar. They are 12 and they are uh, being built in 1400 BC by a king called Amenhotep III. Amenhotep. He built 12 of these pillars in here. The height of the pillars is about 22 meters high. And the capital is like an open papyrus, as you see. City the first, the one who ruled from the next family, built 61 pillars from the north, shorter than the ones in the middle, 18 meters. So there is a gap between 22 and 18 meters. So you see these windows? Yep. And I told you used to be have a roof this place. So these windows used to be have a line windows, made from stone, and it used to be having a very decent light to light the way for the priest. 
who walking out from the sanctuary over there until the key outside. So 61 pillar from the north, as you see. Then Rav II, the one who attempted to build all over, built 61 pillar from the south. The same height as his father, 18 meter, and this lowest of Paris again. So and symmetrically. The, yes. So 61 and 61, 122, 12 in the middle, 134 pillars. Cartouches, the king, Ramses the second. War took five years, so when they came back from the war, they found the girls and the ladies pregnant and having babies. So they claimed the only man was there. So they cut his left arm and his left leg. When they intend to cut his penis, he said, wait, I made a new generation for you if you didn't come back from this war. So I was working for your own good. That's why they call him the one got Amun Kamos F, the one fertilized even his own mother. Oh, he, even his own mother? Even his own mother. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's why they all scarf him with no left arm, no left leg, and erected penis. And if you come here this way, I'm going to be having the first question for you. Yep. And you remember the lady with the star above her head? You know what his, what, what's her name? Oh, yeah. Remember the lady with the star? I showed you an info. Is that Hathor? No. Now, C. Shat. C. Shat. recording the events, the important events, and in front of her got taught. The one, the Ibis, the one who's writing how many years King Ramses was going to be ruling for. And maybe you recognize this scene. Always the priest, when they pray for someone, they always put their hands above his head, yeah? Yep. Yep. The God is putting his head his hand above the head of King Ramses. He's blessing him. <coughs> so maybe I think the priest got it from here. And this 31 gods carry the sacred board. Yeah, 31 priests. Though. Priests, right? Oh, they're wearing the, the masks? Yes. <coughs> Let me show another place with Brilliant colors. I want to see the colors. Then we go and see the obelisk. Then his back are two female goddesses, Nechbit and Wajit, Upper and Lower Egypt. And every one of the birds taught, which is the ibis and Horus, the falcon, is presenting the crown to Ramses. You see? Later on, down there, he transferred himself to be like the tree of life. You see the, all the tree? Yep. And all the leaves coming out, he become the sap of the tree and all the leaves coming out from him. Mm -hmm. And God taught his writing his name over the fruit. Why the fruit? Because the fruit has the seed. And when the seed goes in the ground, we bigger than him. Yes. Slightly, you know. Yeah, 29, 22, 7 meters higher. So he built a wall on the four sides. That's why you can see the obelisk has two colors, you see? Uh -huh. The top is paler because that was disposed to the sun all the time. And the wall used to be that high. Hatship suits obelisk. Yes, 330 tons, one thing to go. And this statue has been made later on than the history of the temple. That's been made later on by Alexander the Great. Actually, the stepbrother of Alexander the Great called Philip Aradeus. He collected the broken stones and transferred to be like a statue. But because God lives in here, so the sky is blue, you see? Uh -huh. And that's made of granite. Most of the scenes here is for Alexander the Great himself dressed as an ancient Egyptian king and give offer to the ancient Egyptian god. So he is pretending to believe in the ancient king.
see the waves come, come from the sand. So they thought the waves come, come from the underworld. So the Kesel has come to be the semi-god of resurrection, helping the pharaohs to come back to life again. You want to get pregnant? Can you move it faster? Rapido? My god, I'm going to be waiting forever till sundown. That's only one. Yeah, the sprinter is running. Looks like marathon now. Baby, you doing three times? Okay. Three times. What your wish come true? I just saw my wish come true. Please come. Okay. Right. The hatchet suit. The first thing that's broken is the head and the nose. And she's holding two. Uh, Two key, two key of life, so yeah. That's probably her too, high chip suit. Man, it's all high chip suits. Almost fell, guys. Slept. Ah. Stop. Stop. They said it's good luck. And I guess I gotta change the hands. Karnak Temple
You know, local restaurant, Lux Zoe, that's where we're gonna have a lunch. I don't know, lunch or dinner, whatever, maybe lunch and dinner together.